I think the, the effect is a really exciting project. It's so nice to see science being put across in the theatre to a general audience. Um, it's very important, I think, to, to do it now because um, the level of prescribing of antidepressant drugs is, is greater than it's ever been. It's increased eight to tenfold in the last decade. And I think you know, the dialogue should be taking place about um, the use of these drugs and the development of new drugs coming along, which is exactly what the effect is, is all about. Um, and I also think it's, it's good to inform people about taking part in the trials and what kind of research is going on with these drugs. I felt terribly honoured actually to be asked along to speak to the cast and the, the writer, Lucy, and the director. Um, it was fascinating because I'd never done that before. It was extraordinary how they've been preparing themselves by getting involved in the science and learning about that and how obviously Lucy had done loads of research to, to back up the science of, of her play. Um, and uh, I was very impressed that you know, one person came along with a huge picture of the brain and wanted me to talk about different bits and what was important in terms of depression. Um, and it was a lovely idea, this whole idea that you know, by being involved in this trial of an antidepressant, two people, Billy Piper and Jojo Dondo O'Neill, um, might actually fall in love and try and distinguish the, the falling in love effects from the effects that might be induced by a, a drug. I thought it was a really novel idea and very interesting to, to, to um, build a play around that, that idea, um, sort of chemical love or natural love. And there are some chemical substances like ecstasy or MDMA which um, seems to enhance people's wanting to be with other people and how they can empathise with other people. So yes, there are drugs that, that do influence those sorts of feelings. Um, but I don't think there is a, a love potion per se that uh, I've ever worked with. As a scientist it's very difficult to define or measure love. Um, it's better less left to poets really. But um, we can look at it. We can look at the difference in how people's brains respond to someone they, they love as opposed to somebody they don't know. Um, it was interesting talking to John Joe O'Neill that he'd actually been here to UCL to see someone else, someone, a scientist called Samuel Zeki, who um, put John Joe into an fMRI brain scanner and looked at John Joe's brain when he'd um, had a photograph of, of a loved one being shown as opposed to looking at a photo of somebody he didn't know. Um, so it was interesting that you know the, the actors had actually been out into the real world to, to get involved in some of the research.